Like, life is so unfair. It's so unfair. And it be the innocent people that get hurt. Blake, those three victims were not involved in the initial fight. As you mentioned, those victims include two young girls and 42-year-old Terrell Wynn. I spoke to his sister today, who told me that the family is still in shock about what happened. Fort Worth police say this car wash off West Cleburne Road in Fort Worth is where a large 4th of July gathering ended in gunfire. According to court documents, 27-year-old Kennard Murphy went to this gathering to see his 11-month-old daughter. Witnesses told police due to prior domestic violence issues between Murphy and the baby's mother, there are relatives in her family who don't like him. Just before midnight, one of those relatives got in a fight with Murphy. At first, it appeared the two men were going to get in a fist fight. Then Murphy pulled out a rifle and started shooting at the other man, who was unarmed. Three people not involved in the fight were hit by gunfire. Like, life is so unfair. It's so unfair. And it be the innocent people that get hurt. Twyla Wynn's brother, 42-year-old Terrell Wynn, was one of the three people shot. He was hit in the leg and died from his injuries. Bullets also struck the back of a vehicle and hit two sisters in the back seat. One-year-old Winter Thuston and four-year-old Ivy Pierce. The children were taken to the hospital and later died. Hey, them babies didn't deserve it. My brother didn't deserve it. The documents go on to say an unknown person shot Murphy in the back, forcing him to drop the rifle. Then another person rushed over to grab it before Murphy could get to it and continue shooting. I just hate he was caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wynn couldn't confirm if her brother knew anyone at the large gathering. She believes he was there to use the car wash. Wynn says her brother moved to Texas from Louisiana about five years ago for a better life. He was going to celebrate his 43rd birthday in two weeks. His sister says that he also leaves behind a 21-year-old son. He's going to always hold a special place in my heart. When police spoke to Murphy, they said that he admitted to pointing the rifle at the relative of his baby's mother who he was fighting with, and he admitted to police, they say, that he tried to shoot him. Murphy is currently charged with capital murder of multiple persons. Fort Worth police say he's still in the hospital recovering from his injuries, so he hasn't been booked into jail yet. Blake, back to you. All right, Amelia, thanks. Man, we back with another crazy story out of Dallas about this man going to meet up at a car wash to see his newborn child, but end up getting in a conversation with his child's mother's family member. They had a little gap 4th of July gathering, which I'm pretty sure was a lot of people and also, the car wash was open for regular people to pull up. So even though they had that going on, nice little 4th of July gathering at the car wash, regular people that didn't know what, what was going on could pull it up and, and, and wash your car or whatnot. This is another crazy situation because this can happen anywhere, man. Who don't wash their car? And, you know, it's almost like nowadays you can't even go and be around people and feel safe. Because you might end up losing your life over something that ain't got nothing to do with you. We keep talking about these type of stories over and over again where innocent people getting hit. Innocent people at the wrong place at the wrong time. Unfortunately lose their life at the end of the day over something they had completely nothing to do with. And that's the scary part about a lot of these stories in life itself. Because you never know going to a grocery store, going to any public place, you don't know how the next person beside you feel or what they're going through or what they won't do. And and you damn sure don't know what these people got going on in their mind. And so, like I said, we in our last days. He went to go see his 11-month-old child. Him and the family member didn't get along because there was a lot of domestic dispute going on between the child's mother and this guy. 
and the family member wasn't with all that. So, of course, something was going to go down. And people get an extra bump in their chest when they feel like they're going to shoot first instead of fighting, instead of boxing. And so at the end of the day, somebody who's scared to fight, they're going to pull out a rifle. And that's exactly what happened. He pulled out a rifle. Your family member thought they was from the box. But he pulled out the rifle and just started shooting recklessly. And ain't no telling how many people was out there at the gathering. And everybody just started taking off running because bullets was flying everywhere across people's head, face. And unfortunately, two little babies lost their life. Senseless crimes, man. And it don't make no sense. It could have got worse if the bystander didn't shoot the suspect. It could have been, he could have shot up more innocent people running. You know, he already done, done enough by pulling out, just pulling out the rifle. You bringing a rifle to a fist fight. But also that let me know he was scared to fight. Anybody who's going to go pick up a gun first, but talk a lot of shit, you scary. You, you ain't, you ain't nothing in the neighborhood. Anybody can go pick up a gun and kill somebody. But that let you know we in our last days. And we want to send prayers out to all the people lost their life and that was injured out here at this car wash in this senseless crime that had nothing to do with them. And it just hurt to be somewhere and see other people not knowing what's going on, thinking they're going to see their next birthday, go home to see their kids, put their kids to bed. And all that's taken away from them in a split moment. By something that had nothing to do with you. But like I said, when our last day is just a crazy world. And we're going to continue to see these type of crimes. These kids didn't even get to live their life. You know, it was so short. We want to send prayers out to the parents of the kids. You know, because this is a crazy, crazy situation. But this is the days we're living in. And we're going to continue to see these type of crimes. But like I said, this could be anybody that any kind of public event or public place. You don't know what these folks got going on, what type of beefs, what type of attitude they got, who they want to get back. Because people can't control their anger and their emotion nowadays. But this is another crazy situation. We want to send prayers out to all the families that lost someone during this crazy crime. But let me know what y'all think about this crazy story. We out.